Yo, and welcome back to another Honest Take today. Guys, You, the amount of love you guys have for Gigi Dallana and the amount of requests I've gotten for the Unholy Sam Smith cover uh, has been overwhelming. Every single comment on the video is like, bah, 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 bah. So we're going to jump into this. As always, guys, please like, share, and subscribe to the channel. And let's get this rolling. Here we go. <laughs> she got a great smile. Here we go. Oh, she's controlling the tip. Oh, she slowed him all down. I am not ready for this. Nice. Look at that star power. Nice. <laughs> Bringing it way down. Nice. <laughs> oh, wow. Wow. How is she finding that tone? It's so nice to see an actual performer. Let's go back and uh, listen to that one tone that got me going. 
<laughs> yeah, it's the most replayed spot. That's awesome. Oh, that is so cranberries. But then, so she's got like that, the, uh, the grunge post punk kind of thing going on. And then she taps into the hair metal shit. Like where she pulls from this spot right here. It's so 1980s hair metal. It's uh, done right though. Yeah, this is awesome right here. And then the the band communication right here is great. Look at the look at the keyboard player. He's like, all right, all right, she cooking. Let her cook. She cooking. Did you see the hand movement? Her uh, her right hand right here. If you can see my mouse cursor, so watch for it. This is how subtle like band communication is. Watch. You see it? And then this guy back here, back right, he saw it. And then he's talking to the bass player like, yo, chill, chill, chill. And then the bass player will probably look at the drummer. Nope, drummer picked it up. So right now she's just doing her own thing that's like completely inspired. Oh man, the fact that she can find that, that gravelly spot like right here. At least that's where I think it's coming from. At that low volume, that is, man, she just keeps impressing me. Oh, man. What is that tone right there? That's what I was looking for. What is that? That right there. That level of volume with that much gravel in her voice. Look at the look at the guitar player. He's just like, holy shit, dude. I've been playing with her forever. And I just, <laughs> she just keeps doing it. This is the best. Oh, man. You know who she reminds me of? I Back when I was promoting shows and booking shows in my local area, I found a band called Bent, B-E-N-T, Knee, K-N-E-E. -E. And her voice... Reminds me a lot of her or vice versa. I mean, they pull from a similar place. I mean, they're not famous. They're not well known. But like, she really, really reminds me of her. I'm going to link a clip of a certain piece of a song that sounds just like her. But for those of you... If you're not into like really long songs and like kind of avant-garde metal, uh, it's not going to be for you. But like for people who do like to explore new music, Bent Knee is a, uh, they're, they're really cool. And their drummer was featured in Modern Drummer. He's, he's awesome. Yeah, guys, that she's the gift that keeps on giving. She's amazing. I'm going to leave it right there. There was, I said what I needed to say. I'm also going to link, uh, in the bio, there'll be a link to that band I was talking about, Bent Knee. Go check them out. Uh, I'm going to be doing more of this. You guys love her. I love her. Um, yeah. Give me give me more recommendations. That was a great one. I forget the other ones you guys keep tagging me in, but you'll, you'll let me know. Uh, as always, guys, please like, share, and subscribe to the channel. And if you like me, I love you. And if you don't, you can fuck off. <laughs> Peace.